Benji Owls Garage, Benji Owls Garage, helping everyone. Benji Owls Garage. Benji Owls Garage, Benji Owls Garage, helping everyone. Benji Owls Garage, helping everyone. Benji Owls Garage, Benji Owls Garage. Not knowing what to do, Benji Owls Garage, Benji Owls Garage. Alright everybody, today on Benji Owls Garage, we're going to do a degreaser shout out. We're going to be using AutoZone's Purple Power, versus, as seen on TV, this um, LA Totally Awesome. So... The subject today for the degreaser challenge is this right here. We got a subframe and two control arms that have about 30 years worth of grime. We're going to soak them and then just hose them off and see how much of it comes off initially. I'm going to scrape off um, this right here, this stuff right here, because we don't really need it. This is just dirt. So. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt. We want grime. We want... Here we go. Here's a good comparison. So, the left side is going to be Purple Power. The right side is going to be totally awesome. So, I mean, we're going to soak them. We're going to completely drench them in this stuff. And see how well this stuff actually performs. So, Purple Power on the left. And then totally awesome, LA awesome, as seen on TV, on the right. We're just going to let it soak, and it's a hot day today, so this stuff should work even better on a hot day. One more quick soaking on this. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the actual subframe over here. We're just going to soak the left side with purple power. And we're going to soak the right side. It's totally awesome. They're both degreasers. They both run around the same. Well, actually, this stuff I get at a at a big lots for like a dollar. So this stuff is cheap. Who knows? Let's see how well it works. We're going to give it a couple minutes. I'm going to come back again. And then I'm just going to soak them one more time. And then hose them off. And you can see immediately on the left side, the purple power is already just doing its job. I can already see straight to the metal. This LA stuff. Not doing so hot, <laughs> you know. The I've got a gallon of the purple power stuff from AutoZone for six dollars uh, retail, and that's I love this stuff. I recommend it religiously. And I'm giving the uh, cheap stuff an unfair advantage. By spraying it directly on it versus just letting it soak like the purple power one. That's a hot day, so this stuff is drying up pretty quickly. Be right back and show you the results. All right, so the moment of truth is here. 
We're gonna do a quick one more time rinse down. Just so I know that we got it on here. Now, I'm using a, I'm not gonna use a pressure washer, but I have a high pressure hose. It does about like 50 to 60 PSI of water pressure. So, it's gonna help a decent amount to help remove this grime. So, let's see. Let's see the end result. I haven't touched anything else, so this is how the end result's gonna be. So, here we go. Now that's Purple Power. LA Awesome on the right. Now, the big moment of truth here is on the subframe. Some LA stuff is still grimy on the right you know there's still grime over here too I mean don't get me wrong but the purple power did a better job of just removing it the surface stuff versus just letting it sit there like the uh, LA stuff and you can see I mean there's still a good layer on here all around either way but the end result speaks for itself purple power wins this is just a good example here, all the way down to the metal. Not doing anything, just letting it soak. Same control arm, just the right side, and I can still I still have grime it's still on here. And all we do is just let it soak. So the one dollar stuff works. You might have to just put a little bit more elbow grease into uh, cleaning them. Where the six dollar gallon of uh, Purple Power, which actually brings it down to about a dollar as well for a bottle. It goes straight to the metal without any scrubbing. That's pretty awesome. Um, so, for future references, this is what you guys want to use. Use the Purple Power stuff from AutoZone. It's cheap and it does the job really good. Alright? Thanks for watching this episode of Pinche Al's Garage and doing a quick comparison and degreasers because this might be useful for you guys when you get to this part of your uh, project car. Thanks again. Peace out.